morning guys welcome back to the channel on this lovely bank holiday <laughs> monday now a bit dreary a bit, a bit overcast at the moment but we are promised some sun as we head down to the Prestatting classic car show down here in beautiful north wales um Ollie's going with me although unfortunately can't uh because i can only drive on vehicle but we've got another car that's coming down with a family member let's give you a quick peek and i will show you a lot more of that later on so yeah, so if you've got nothing to do today on Bank Holiday Monday, come and join us. See you there. Bye. Right. We're on the way, guys. Uh, we've got Aaron in his, uh, I'll tell you what it is now, it's a VW Polo GT. Very rare car. Uh, I'll show you more of that later. Uh, Paddy, he's struggling a little bit, but as we know, because he's got this problem with his uh, gasket box, I'm just taking it steady with him. As long as he goes to the show and uh, everyone can have a look at him, uh, that's all we need. Um, yeah, so the weather's picking up, so hopefully see you all there. All right, we're into the Ford, guys. Nice Mondo ST. Nice Mark IV Escort. Onto the more modern ones. As I say, I'm doing just a quick sweep around, guys. Uh, our beautiful Mark II Capri. Uh, we've seen that Mark one Fiesta before. And also a Mark III Capri and a lovely Mark III uh, Cortina estate. Next to that, I do believe that is the RS2000. We've seen this one again, guys, as well. Uh, we've seen this one at Cars and Coffee. Uh, I can. So they're just still get they're still getting a few things into place here. So I'm going to leave it there for a minute. I'll come back to you guys. Right guys, so just quickly now, I just thought I'd show you this one. This is the RS2000. Next to a nice Mark II. Three or four. When was the last time you saw one of them? Oh, it's a two door. That is very rare. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Have you had a shave? <laughs> Uh, so you don't see many of those 304s now. Then on to uh, now. This is a uh, I do believe this rally rally spec Mark II we have seen before. Lovely Vauxhall Victor. And guys, yeah, we have seen this one before at Abercan Cars and Coffee. Uh, the Mark II, yes. Plenty of times I, I think I spoke to you actually. <laughs> yeah, and this and this one as well there yeah, as well, yes. The other one. Focus. As I say, there's still people arriving, so it's hard to try and get around them all at the moment. But we will come back to a few, few cars and try and speak to the owners during the day. Yeah, mate, got some lovely minis. Coming down to a few minis now over the road there. So, um Lovely Cobra there as well. Nice Mini Club of Estate. Another couple of Minis. Lovely looking uh, Mark III Fiesta over there. Along with the Beatles. Uh, I'm not going to know some of these cars guys but I'll have a go. I can mean, see it's a Chevrolet quite sure what it is. Parkwood. And then another one right next to it. Oh, look at the size of the wings on this one guys. Absolutely huge. Yippee. 
got to admit the Americans knew what to do when they were doing their cars back in the 50s and 60s. Again, more minis over there. We've got a few more minis over there. We've got a nice, uh, there's a Chevy as well, van. As I say, they're still, still everyone arriving. Nice hot rods. Another, I think, is another RS2000 there. Old Ford Pop. Really nice. Yeah, nice RS2000 there. Now, this one definitely looks like it's got some Dennis Collins uh, add ons from Black Mountain. <laughs> Wrangler Unlimited. I don't know if any of you follow Dennis Collins on his coffee walk, a uh, friend of Richard Rawlings. I've got this little way. Austin 7. Nice Austin 7 there. Yeah. One of the Ford, Ford guys again. Okay. Little girl. Ah, look at this. Nice frog eyes, right? Nice midget. Nice me, I've got a set of them wheels I need to sell if you know anybody wants some midget wheels. Uh, my guy's got a few bikes here as well. Kawasaki 900, 1974. <laughs> Right, so we're coming into the main entrance now of the show. So we'll start off. As I say, I'm just going to swing by everything. Anything of interest that I, I'm going to come back to and uh, have a little more in depth look. Nice Mark II. These guys for the Welsh Air Ambulance. You all like the Welsh Air Ambulance? Are uh, you Subaru guys? No, no, no. I should know because I was from Dudley. This Triumph Herald. And I've seen this thing again, uh, cars of coffee. Uh, old uh, German, a German, I believe it's a German fire truck. Yeah. And then, then we're going on to the Escort. Another RS, quite a few RS 
2000s here today. Weather original. Yeah. So I have to say, I'm going to give a quick sweet round. That's not from the beginning. So I'm going to swing around here. I'll start over here. Oh my. I'll say, all I'm going to do is have a quick swing round everything for you. So you can see the selection. What was here? Nice old singer there. And over here. I've seen these Anglia before, again at Cars and Coffee. Nice Mark 5 and a Mark 2 Fiesta. Nice. And so we're going to keep moving. Nice old Wolseley. The Wolseley guys. That is very clean in there. There you go. Oh. Tropes. Spitfire. And uh, we've got another bread van. Um, obviously, Aaron's in his GT. Uh, uh, a friend of mine's brother had one of these, GT6. Uh, we helped him restore it. Track stack. There's quite a few MGs here today. Not two Escort, 500 SL, Mark 5, 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 Mark and there we go, there's AJ's GT and there's Oddy. Say hello. <laughs> nice well, success. <laughs> nice Mark 3 Fiesta, Mark 4 Fiesta, isn't it? This one, yes. Mark 4 Fiesta. Quite a few two TVs here today as well. I'm trying to show as much as I can, guys. Right, here we are, nice landy. Lovely stag there. And the lotus. And quite a lot of stags here today as well. Nice to see them out and about. Nice lotus. Right, I'll we'll come back over here now. All the old stuff. Very hard to get to it all for you guys, but I'm trying my best. I'm as few much shout. Oh, you didn't go and have a look at that noise there. Uh, Austin 7. Oh. Can't look at all of them. <laughs> That's the problem. I will be focusing in on a few. Obviously, that I like, unfortunately. <laughs> but yeah, I will move on. It's nice to see a lot of modern classics as well. Now, um, this Viva here, Foxhall Viva here, is actually for sale. Um, I've had a look around, it's quite tidy as well. Yeah, the ends. Again, another 2CV. Really nice, this one's had a body up restoration, this one. And, so, and there's been some lovely Jags here today as well. Mercedes, Mercs. Oh. Nice Porsche 944. So this, this one's for sale. Hoxall GTE. Really nice. Very, very clean. This, this is open for offers, this one. 
Oh, it's heavy. Quattro, is that Quattro, isn't it? That one? Yeah. Uh, this one's for sale as well. Uh, now, one of these, look at this, look at the old Metro. We had one of these when our kids were young. Uh, we had a red one, Metro City. And I'll tell you what, it was probably one of the best cars I'd ever had. Nice Zephyr come on to the Mark II boys again. And they've got a nice mark standard mark one there. Look at that early escort. And this one's had a, a bit of modification to it, this one. So this fellow, this Voxar HP, yeah. 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 it was a really, really clean sapphire, this one. Had a look around this earlier, it's really clean. Uh, so clean, I do remember, yeah, he's even got mirrors looking on the floor there. Look how clean that is. <laughs> Make me really wish I'd have brought um, Arlo with us today. But, uh, not to be. Ah, yeah. uh, we've seen this one, guys. Yeah, cars and coffee. Again, no stags. There's a micro, you don't see many of them now on the road. A nice little micro. Where are you? And the Lotus is free. Nice. Nice MR2s. Very nice, tidy example. Very clean. And we keep going on. More MGs, MGBs, midgets. There's quite a lot of them. I mean, over there, there's quite a lot. We've got the Moggy Miners, which I'll get round to there shortly. Like I said, I did mention there's quite a few Jags. Uh, I'll start from down here. We've got a uh, and eat right there, I spotted that. Okay. There we go. Uh, nice eat out. And another one here as well. I'm gonna have a look at this one there. Nice interior on this one. Beautiful. Because it's a bit crowded. <laughs> Trying to get round to everything as we can. Alright. What's that, Martin? Now, was the last time you seen one of these on the road? Not very often. Uh, the old Lancia into Garali. Not sure they can I gonna get too much glare there to see that. Very nice. Very good condition. Considering the rest, they all rotted away. A bit like the Chevette. <laughs> they didn't like the rain, the British weather. 
जमावगंज से लवली पी फोर That's a lovely P4 that is. Would have been nice if Tasty Classic and Ben had brought his uh, P4 down. Yeah. Uh, standard. And you've changed it as well. Another stag. As I say, there's quite a lot of moggies here today. Beatles. Right. Nice houses. Wasn't that Richard Hammond doing one of those on his show? Uh, I'm sure he did, didn't he? Uh, the midget again. I've got a set of them wheels for sale. If somebody's got an MG midget and they want some wheels, some of the Ross styles, we've got some for sale. I'm quickly going to come around because, as I said, it's just trying to get in between the crowds, it's quite difficult. Uh, trying my best for you. Okay, guys, sorry about that. I just, just uh, uh, caught with an old friend. Uh, so, yeah, just as I was saying, the last time you saw one of these, now this one's not the, sp the sprint, it's actually the 1500 HL, and I had one of these. Um, I had a blue one, uh, but mine was the auto. Uh, this one is, is the manual. But, yeah, very nice to see. All right, guys, there we go. Nice Rover P5. Look at that one, says this. Really nice condition, that is. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> yours, yes? No, it's not. Mine. Uh, okay. I've got one like it, that's why I'm oh, going to it. Right, yeah, so, so it's very good. I had a look, a look early at it earlier, but I thought oh, I'll get it on video now. Uh, yeah, so I it's, uh, again, yeah it's, it's really nice. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Prefect. Did see this one earlier coming in. We have advertisement there for him. See, that's what I like. Original interior, chrome, in day of use. That's what we like to see. Not left in a garage and constantly used. Another one. Lovely design. <laughs> you can see what they've tried to do there. <laughs> that actually looks quite quite good. <laughs> yes. There you go. MGs again, quite a few MGs today. Oh Spitfire, sorry, Spitfire there. Get in trouble calling that an MG. There you go. Oh I'll see I've not seen one of them for a few years. There we go. Well, I'm just gonna flip round here because we've got a nice imp here. And I did spot this Datsun. Look at that! Where did you see a Datsun 280ZX? Oh, it's nice. Can't really get a good look at the front, actually, unfortunately. Uh, parked, it, parked it in front ways. A bit of a shame. So there's the imp. There we've got. I'll get into this one, a Mark 1 Astra GTE in the background there. Yeah. Just have a quick yeah, scoot in, thank you. <coughs> no, I was thinking, he said to me, when are you thinking? I said, well, possibly next Sunday. I said, I'll let you know. I said, but, I said, I'd want to be there. Now, this is one of my favourites, the L Mark 2 van. We all drove these many a times. 
That is really clean in there. Puts Oddy to the shine. I really can't wait to get Oddy in the garage and get him all sorted out into show condition. Some nice RS wheels on that. Another wild light. There you go. These are they called the old land crabs, wasn't it? Uh, was that the Maxi they called land crabs? Well, both of them. I'm not sure. Morgan. Nice Zodiac. Very nice. Let me flick over. I like that barrel. Now, there's an old tank, as we used to call them. And one of the little Wellesleys, which, if you look at it, it is basically a mini with a boot on the back. Look at that. And then this next one, the lovely Vauxhall Aviva. As we said, we had one. <laughs> when we um, got married, we had an orange one of these as a present. And we drove away from the, the wedding do uh, in an orange Vauxhall Aviva. That is lovely. And I love this patina. And this is what I wish they'd done to Oddy uh, when they took Oddy out of the barn. I wish they'd have left him as he is, his original paint, and left it as it was. Uh, there we go. Nice calm. It's a calm gear. Yes, nice calm gear. Very nice. Modern headlights. Don't know whether I like that or not, but it's uh, everyone's own taste. We saw this one at Cars and Coffee as well. And look at the lovely Morris Marina. Now, I've not seen one of these in person for a long time, so I'm going to have a bit of a look around this one. So, I'll quickly show you guys. And then I'm just going to. Switch you off a minute. I'm just going to have a look at this one. Right guys, back again. Right, I'm going to call this uh, the Moggy Alley. Uh, I'm only going to quickly go up all these guys, because obviously there is loads of them. This is the Morris Miners Owners Club of North Wales Branch. And this is all their Moggy Miners. Cabbies. Riley. Yeah. 
Let's try and whiz them up. Nice Trevor. <laughs> There's some really nice, nice examples. I say just too many to stop and look at. Oh, I'm going to quickly just whizz past these ones guys because uh, as you can see we are very busy here and there you go that's a nice one oh, a nice Lucas Mini Clubman. I've not mistaken an MG Metro there. Nice MG Metro. That's clean. Clubman GT. That's nice. No, it's a uh, oh, nice opal. Yes, it is the Manta SR. Yes. So Nana's maiden. Very nice. Yeah, we did see this one coming up earlier. Um, very nice close look, nice Trans Am. Very nice, very cool. Right. right here, we got a nice standard, and I know the gentleman that owns this one. Uh, his name's Dave. Uh, we'll just have a quick look at his car as he's talking to somebody at the moment, so I'm not going to interrupt him. Uh, yes, there you go. You can see in there, very good. Yeah, I will catch up with him after and we'll have a bit of a chat. Now, I found it in the end, I've been looking for this one. Yeah, it's the uh, Orion, the local owner. Really, really, 1.6i gear, really, really good condition. Beautiful looking car. They had a white one of these uh, back in 95, uh, I want to say. Uh, Really nice. Lovely and clean. And then we've also got this um, Martin, lovely Mark II here. And we like seeing things standard. That's one point six gear as well. So two one point six gears from two different areas. Mm 
Lovely, too. Right, guys, well, I suppose I'd better show you. Obviously, here's Oddy. Uh, I will show you now um, that our family member's Aaron is a uh, quite rare Volkswagen Polo GT. There it is. Really, really lovely colour. Lovely, lovely green colour. <laughs> Unfortunately, he is very camera shy. Oh, there he is. Say hi, hey, hey. Hi. <laughs> There you go, Polo GT. You don't see many of them now. And I'll just show you. There you go. 96 stairs, nothing has gone it yet. I say the paintwork is lovely on it. And I do, is it for sale, is it? No, no, no. <laughs> Alright guys, back again. Uh, just, just outside the show, we found a few cars. Uh, we found this nice Austin Allegro. We believe it's the 1850 uh, estate. But you don't see many of these to the pound anymore. Had a few Allegros in my time, but I never ever owned the estate, uh, which I would have loved to have done. And nice MG. We have previously did a video on this Lotus. And and last but not least, is nice little Yamaha 250. And a nice Yodiak, Yodiak. I just found this one not long arrived, a bit more late to the party, but that's <laughs> very unusual. They're not going to see that around very often, is it? I'm not sure what it's for, whether it was uh, on an airport, a small airport might have been. It's got all the full kit and everything in there. Right hand drive. And I've got this lovely Victor. Vauxhall Victor. Back again, guys. Uh, we did just spot this Capri again. It's now got the engine bay open. I'll just take a look at that. I mean, the whole car. Really, really nice.
Hi guys. Ah, we're back from the show. I uh, loved it. Lots and lots. I hope you enjoyed that video. Lots and lots of classic cars there. Uh, modern, old, vintage. Lots and lots of cars. Uh, sorry I couldn't show you everything. Sorry I couldn't stop and chat with as many people as I could because it, it was so busy. I have never seen a car show so busy. Uh, so getting to talk to individual owners was it was really hard because uh, people queued to speak to them. So um, apologies to Dave uh, with his standard there. I, you know, lots of people trying to talk to him while I was trying to talk to him, so I had to leave him to it. Um, but yeah, no, it was a good day all round. Uh, Oddie got us back home safe and sound, and um, yeah, the old boys now off the road. But don't threat. We're going to be doing lots of cars and coffee uh, between now and the winter with Arlo. So there's still going to be lots of content and there's going to be even more content as we start to take this boy apart, fix his problems, sort his body work out. And when he eventually hopefully rolls out that garage, he's going to be a different car. Uh, and um, I mean, I'm proud of him anyway, but uh, hopefully he's going to be hopefully... Not show quality because I'm not going for um, concourse, but he deserves to look, you know, he's to shine. And uh, everyone go, wow, look at him. Because <laughs> there ain't many of these, these about now. So, yeah, so that's plenty of that to come up. So, oh, hello. <laughs> um, thanks again for watching. Appreciate you all watching. I only do it because I love my cars. And, um, Next time I'll see you, we'll be on a Carson Coffee. Till then, bye for now.